We want to find x if x multiplied by x minus 3 in a bracket is equal to 0. We could have the x outside the bracket equal to 0. 0 times anything in the bracket would be 0. Or the bracket could be 0. The contents of the bracket must therefore come to 0. So x minus 3 is equal to 0. 0 times the bracket, whatever the bracket is, would give us 0. And if the bracket was 0, we'd also get the product to be 0. So we have x is equal to 0, or adding 3 to both sides of this equation, we get that x is equal to 3. Let's just explain this further in order to make it really clear. If x is equal to 0, we have 0 times the bracket. If x is 0, the bracket would be 0 take away 3, which is 0 times minus 3. And 0 times anything is 0. If x were 3, we would have 3 times the bracket would be 3 minus 3. So that's 3 times 0, and anything times 0 is 0. So you can see how we get the two values. Here we have x minus 2 times x plus 3 is 0. Either this first bracket is 0, which means that x minus 2 is equal to 0, or the second bracket is 0, which means that x plus 3 is equal to 0. Adding 2 to both sides here gives x is equal to 2. Subtracting 3 from both sides here gives that x is equal to minus 3. We now have 3x plus 2 in a bracket multiplied by 4x minus 1 in a bracket is equal to 0. Either this first bracket will be 0, which means 3x plus 2 is equal to 0, or the second bracket will be 0, meaning 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Subtracting 2 from both sides here, gives 3x is equal to minus 2. Dividing both sides by 3 gives x is equal to minus 2 thirds. Adding 1 to both sides of this equation gives 4x is equal to 1. Dividing both sides by 4 now gives us that x is equal to one quarter. Let's just take one of these values to show why this works. Let's substitute it in. The 3x plus 2 bracket would become 3 times minus 2 thirds, since x is minus 2 thirds, plus 2. The 3's would cancel, leaving us with minus 2 plus 2, which we know is 0. So this first bracket would be 0 times whatever is in this bracket would give us 0. For the x equals a quarter, that would make the second bracket 0, and therefore, something times zero would be zero. So we can see why the solutions are minus two-thirds and one-quarter.